supermarket has got a lot to offer and we don't always take advantage of everything that's in there. You can make, for example, a very economical, vegetarian, healthy dinner for literally a couple of dollars. And I'm gonna make one for you now. So what I've got here is some leftover brown rice that was from dinner last night. It's perfectly fine. I'm gonna put it into my bowl here. And here's where the super fun economical part comes in. You get yourself a can of lentils. So they're ready cooked, they're ready to use. All you do is drain and rinse them. And these ones I've warmed up so that our dinner will be nice and warm. And I'm gonna add those in with the rice. Now, rice and beans, rice and lentils, these are dishes that have been around for thousands of years in many cultures, you know, in uh, Mexico and Latin America, North America, even in the Middle East. Now here, what I've done is I've mixed it together. This is the traditional way. And normally the even more traditional way would be to take dried lentils and rice and cook them together. So here is what we've got is basically this with a salad and with these yummy caramelized onions, which are nothing more than sliced onions, which you've had a long saute with a little salt and sugar and they get all caramelized like that. And a fresh green salad. If you can believe it, this is actually a dinner and it only costs a few dollars to prepare. I know what you're thinking. My kid won't eat that. I have a solution for that too. So for beginners, a way to get them used to eating a dish like this, and we all have those kids who, you know, they can't have their food touching, you put the rice on separately, the warmed up lentils on separately, nothing has to touch. A fresh green salad can either go on the plate or, or better yet, just stay separate in its own bowl. And remember those onions, well here we just jazz them up by adding a few chopped tomatoes Again, something that can be put on separately in its own area. Of course, adults might like to try it all mixed up together, and I can't resist. I have to try a little bit of this all together. Mm. You don't miss the fact that you haven't spent time simmering this on the stove together. It works perfectly well with the leftovers and the canned lentils, and whoever wants to can let it mix, and for those of you whose kids don't want their food touching, there it is, all separate. I hope you'll try rice and lentils.